Hello. Welcome again, everyone. Um, hopefully, if you are seeing this, you saw the last episode of Horseman Huddle. But if you haven't, we can just go over the last episode just, just really quick. So we interviewed the uh, actress for the Pale Horse uh, last week. That, that, was, that was really fun. It was a little weird. Her name's Sienna. Yeah, we got a strange email saying that basically she had false information about some of the things that she was telling us, like about mm -hmm. them having separate parts and telling the story or like creating it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. We thought that was a little weird. As we said last week, hopefully we can uh, get a little more information out of Kathy, who is our little guest today. She is the voice of uh, Mindy Lamb. Yes. Which is really, I, I love that character. Before we, we jump into the interview, let's talk a little bit about the, um, the Red Horse episode. I believe that's, that's who yeah. she plays. Go ahead. She is basically, um, in this, she plays Mindy, and Mindy is sick. And she's sick with an autoimmune um, condition. Yeah. And with the autoimmune condition, she seems to be traveling like in her yeah. dreams. Which That's is really cool. And um, I actually also have a, apparently it's autoimmune condition. I have eczema. My mom says it's autoimmune, so I'm assuming she's correct. She usually yeah. is. Um, I have too, but I don't want to talk about it really. Uh, I understand. You're all good. So another thing about this, about the episode that I found really interesting is they kept mentioning, or Raymond Anadar mentioned that um, uh, people with Filipino and Ashkenazi uh, blood are more likely to have this um, condition, which, yeah. what, is, what, what kind of, what condition does she have? Giant cell myocarditis, is that correct? And okay. that, that makes her, that she's able to travel because of that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. A weird mixture of like an ethnicity for, like, it's funny how that works. Yeah. Scientific. Uh, random i i'm not not sure how they came up with that okay so um kathy is in our lobby hello hello well, hi. hi i'm christy or christiana hi uh my name is elijah hi i'm kathy it's really nice to meet you thank you so much for agreeing to doing this this is this is really great oh i see a cat yeah sorry <laughs> she's always around stevie it's all right it is all right. So we have a, a, a few questions for you, if, if you don't mind, just yeah. about Martin, about the role, just your experience. We talked a little bit with Sienna before you, as you know, and um, she didn't really know much about the author. Well, mm -hmm. she's told us some things, like many people kind of collaborated to work with it. I was wondering what role you played in that. Um, well, not really a huge role. I edited it. I edited the first season and, uh, um, I, you know, it didn't have an author name on it, so I don't really know who's the official uh, writer, the official storyteller, but I did edit the first season and I, I edited the second season as well. There's going to be a second. So it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I just break news here? I hope that's okay. But yeah, that's oh, that great. <laughs> that, is, that is that is perfect. Ooh. Oh, okay. I've been I'm excited. too much. I'm so glad there's going to be a second season. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, that is awesome. Wow. And and is it the same character? Sorry, you don't have to say anything about second season. We're just. <laughs> we're no, I, I don't know much. Yeah, it's the same characters. Okay. I don't know when we're gonna. Uh, record it. I mean, actors are always the last ones to know when it comes yeah. to that. I'm sure they'll like buzz in and I'll hear from Jason and For saying sure. it's available next week or whatever. But. Okay. <laughs> Jason, course. the one that organizes this thing? Yeah, Jason. He's the director. He's the director. He's been my contact on this uh, through the whole thing. I was asking if he knew where the stories came from. Mm. Does Jason know? Yeah. You're asking? That's a good question. I don't know, you'll have to ask him. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trying to be, uh, I'm not trying to be slippery, but uh, I'm just not really sure. But yeah, ask him. Awesome. We'll do. We're excited about that. We haven't reached out to him yet, but hopefully we will be able to schedule, schedule an interview with him soon. Yeah. And we will make sure to ask him. 
Um, so in your, in your stories, you played Mindy Lamb. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and she, her like, whole character is she uh, suffers from, we tried to think of the name of the disease earlier. Do you remember what the disease name is? <laughs> you know what, I don't. It's not right okay. on the... Did you do any kind of research or did you look into that at all to prepare? Uh, I didn't. I just thought it'd be best to go with what's in the, uh, what's in the script, just kind of work okay. off, like how he's reflecting this in the script because, well, go ahead. What is exactly the thing with the autoimmune diseases? Like, what was the choice with that, you know? Like, good interviewer. That's what I was stopping myself from talking about, but hopefully this is okay to say, which is that you find out about that in the second season, like what the deal, what the deal is with that. And it turns out that it's, um, I mean, it's a real disease, but for Mindy, it comes from, it's like a, it's like a byproduct of uh, what happens to her when she travels, right? Yes, she, yes. Like travels in time. Yeah. It's doing this thing to her body that process of time traveling is basically killing her really kind of a gift and a curse at the same time i really like <laughs> yeah exactly cool that's intricate really yeah, yeah. Do, do you think that traveling or or the things with the dreams could be real sorry that's, a, yeah, that's out of out of nowhere question that's a fair question that's a fair question um um i don't think it could be a little real real in some ways. Do you guys remember your dreams? Do you remember your dreams? Uh, sometimes, but mine are always out of order when I wake up. Out of order? Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I sometimes do. Uh, mostly not, though, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you a trick. Do you want to know a trick for remembering your dreams? I would love to know a trick. All right. So what you do is, when you're in a dream, uh, you have to remember to look at something like you're looking at a river or something, say, and then remember to turn around and look back. And when you look back, it will have changed. And that's how you know it's a dream. If it's changed, you know, it was a river and now it's a lake or whatever, you know, it was a man selling hot dogs and now it's a guy with balloons or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know it's a dream. And in, your, in the dream, you'll go, oh, it's a dream. And then you'll remember the whole dream after that. It's tricky, the hard part is remembering in the dream to look away. But if you can remember that, look away and look back, then you'll remember your dreams. That's awesome. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see if it works. Yeah, that sounds it. really cool. Yeah. What if it stays the same? If it stays the same, then you're not dreaming. Then you're in real life or you're somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, I'm in real life. I'm not in a dream. <laughs> um. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> did you come up with this yourself or did you yeah. did someone teach you this or what uh i actually learned about this from my husband ken webster who's he's also does uh he's the red dragon in this yes. story yeah. Yeah. he knows a lot of stuff about things like bad dreams and um just other kind of weird esoteric things are you guys going to talk to him you should talk to him i think we are i, I think we talked to him, of him. Okay. i did not know you guys were married that's really cool yeah, we are. We are. Yeah. You guys yeah. both ended up working on Horsemen. I know. So funny, right? Yeah. It's, we've got a lot in common, Ken and I. And we have some things in common with the characters we play, too, or with like the whole world of Horsemen, kind of. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm just getting off somewhere I probably shouldn't get off to. And in fact, I need to, I, I really need to run. It was really yeah. great talking to you. I love meeting you guys. Um, but I'm still in today. So, um, Let's wrap it up here. Thank you cool. so much. This was this was really nice. Yeah, yeah. I love talking Bye. to you guys. Thanks so much for your interest in horsemen. Thank you. Bye. Well, that one pretty good. That one was really cool. That was a lot better that than last awesome. time. <sighs> Longer and we learned more, like the dream thing. I'm seriously gonna try that. Yes, that's it sounds really cool and fun. I'm excited yeah. about that. She was really, really sweet. I'm really she glad. Really that that we got to um, to do that. That was that was really nice. Yeah, maybe we can find a way to get in contact with the director too, because we keep hearing about him. Yeah, I'm feeling like more than all the actors because they don't he they don't seem to know much about the author. And next week we're going to be talking to um, apparently her husband, which is crazy, Ken Webster. So be sure to um, to watch that.
when it comes out. And again, thank you so much for, um, for joining us today. We will see you next time. Bye, guys.